Today I want to share with you this pattern how to make very cute little mushrooms. You can even stand it on your desktop by your computer on your windowsill. It will be making uh, lovely little decorations. And so I'm using this plush yarn, old yarn, very chunky, and crochet hook 5 millimeters. Or you can use any other yarn and suitable hook, it will make no difference, really this pattern will work nice. Together you will need a dunny needle, maybe small needle, just to touch couple buttons, stitch marker, all this as usual. We will start making the cup. I show you slowly how to make uh, this adjustable ring or magic ring. You can pause and run it again. Or you can use chain 2 and start making 6 single crochet in the first chain stitch. But this is very easy, very simple magic ring. And I'm working 6 single crochet in this magic ring or magic circle. Why is it magic? Because uh, afterwards I can tighten it and it will leave no hole or whatever and it will work, it will look very neat. But either way, way it will work. So six single crochets, then you pull the end and have a lovely little circle. Round two I'm making two single crochets in each stitch. Insert your stitch marker just to estimate where your first stitch is. Oh, I'm wrong. Yeah, we are making the cup so it is two single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet in the third stitch then two single crochet in the next stitch so the pattern goes one two one two two single crochet and then one single crochet two single crochets in the last stitch and in total you will have nine stitches third round mark your first single crochet second stitch two single crochets third stitch one single crochet fourth stitch two single crochets so this round again will be one two one two one single crochet and next stitch two single crochets Finish the round with one single crochet in the last stitch. And this already, you may see it's like a cone shape, like triangle shape. Round four. We start with two single crochets in the first stitch. Then 
next stitch one single crochet next stitch two single crochets next stitch one and then two so same pattern for one more round I'm making this video slowly but if you want you can pause it and finish the round yourself I've got lovely little cup and the end of this round I've got 20 stitches I wonder how many stitches you've got next round one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch and two single crochet in the third stitch and repeat one single crochet one single crochet two single crochets so one one two this is the pattern for the last round Finish the round with two single crochets. And to finish it nicely, you've got little step. Now I'm making slip stitch and slip stitch in the next stitch. There you are. And I will show you another trick how to finish it. So you cut the yarn pull the end don't make that stitch smaller like I did don't pull it but it will be still alright so insert your hook in the next stitch pick the yarn and pull it through like you imitate in the stitch you are making b with your hook insert your hook in the last stitch that I pulled you see I made it smaller don't do that and pull the end through and now you can't see that uh, that broken stitch or whatever it finishes this nicely now you just hide the end I'm pulling it through the stitches somewhere to the top of the cup and then I will hide it in the stock there you are how to make this cup cute you need to add white dots and I will show you how to add white dots on top of the cup we will make a few knots so dining needle and white yarn 
and I will teach you how to make knots. If you already know to, how to do it, you can just skip this part. So you pick the stitch, make a loop, and then pick this loop. Yeah, you catch it. There you are, and this is the knot. Insert your needle to the next place, next spot, catch the stitch, make a loop, and then catch this loop. There you are. Those are a few knots you need to add to the cup. You can keep going like this around the whole cup, or you can make your job even neater. I will show you how to do it. So if you look inside, you can see those white strings. So, and uh, to make it neater, you run the needle through the stitches, bit inside the stitches. If you do it this way, your job will be neater. And exactly the same. Pick the stitch, make a loop, and then you catch this loop. So knots are goes the same way. The difference is that when you run it to the next spot, you run it inside the stitches. You run your needle, you run your yarn inside the stitches. Like this. Make sure it's invisible on the outside as well. Don't make it very tight, you just need uh, it to stick out slightly. Yeah, don't pull it very tight, like this. So you kind of uh, uh, find the spot where you want your next white spot be, and run your needle through this between the stitches, like this. Needle outside, Pick the stitch, make the loop, and catch that loop. There you are. Then again, needle inside. Find the position for the next spot. Run your needle inside the stitches. Single crochet is uh, good for that. Like this, and y uh, your job will be much neater. It will not really matter, but if just if you want to. Looks lovely and cute. I'm sure all your friends will appreciate uh, this lovely little present if you make for them. Everyone loves mushrooms, apparently. And especially if these mushrooms ca can uh, stand on your desktop, it will be very, very nice present. So this is the cup. And let's make the stock now. Again, I show you how to make magic loop or magic circle. Two fingers. With your working yarn, you're making like a... Uh, like this, insert your hook on the first one, catch the second one, pick the working end and make like a um, chain one. Chain one doesn't count as chain one, this is still part of the magic circle. And make six single crochets. You can still make chain two and six single crochets in the first chain stitch it will still work as your round one but I believe all my follows are already a little bit uh, more than beginners and everyone wants to learn how to make magic loop or magic circle for round two 
I'm making two single crochets in each stitch. Stitch marker. So second in the first stitch, then two single crochet in the second stitch. Two single crochets in the third stitch and keep going. You will have twelve stitches at the end. And now it's time to attach the button. I have two buttons and I have just a suitable needle that goes through the holes. This is right side and that is inside. You see the wrong side that will be inside the stock. First I'm attaching one button, it just I find it easier. Position it somewhere in the middle that your mushroom uh, uh, stand up, like um, keeping it um, straight. Just a few stitches will do. And then try to position your second mu uh, button, uh, position it with uh, the same um, uh, that the holes are in the same position that it will make it easier to do two, uh, two buttons uh, together. You know what I mean, you'll see it. Yeah, so that you go from one button to the next button, kind like that, and you are making a sandwich. Yeah, and this will help the mushroom to be upright or stand up or whatever. There you are. If you position buttons nicely, you will have no trouble at all. This will happen. It doesn't really matter because it's inside, but I will untangle it. You see what I mean? If you position buttons nicely, or if you don't, you will struggle to make it through. Few more stitches and you finished. Well, you finished with the buttons. If you can't do it like uh, this, you can make maybe attach one button, then attach the other button. You know what I mean, uh, just not do it uh, all together, just do it separately. You try it, I find this way is easier. And this is inside the stock, I make the knot just to secure these buttons. And now for the third round, you have 12 stitches, so for third round I will be making one single crochet in each stitch. So I will have 12 stitches by the end of third round.
the stock start curling inwards and you remember that uh, this white button is my right side so you turn it inside out like this and for the next round I'm making decrease it will be one single crochet in the first stitch and then how to make decrease insert your hook in the next stitch and then insert your hook in the next stitch after and making a single crochet one single crochet and another decrease you are making one single crochet out of two so instead of having two single crochet you will have one single crochet in place and I'm making third decrease I want to have nine stitches my stitch marker fell out but that's alright let's count the stitches you just run your thumb through touching it you may not see it but you will feel it Four, five, six, seven, eight, and 9 and counting again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 so I've got 9 single crochets 9 stitches and with that I will make 2 more rounds 9 single crochets So it will be round 5, 9 single crochets, and one more round, 9 single crochets use your stitch marker or you just can count 9 1, 2 and 3 4 and 5 6 7 8 and 9 why is it like that? because I just want it to be like that you can make it fatter, you can make it longer, it's up to you but this is what I think it looks lovely again you can see the step yeah just like that, just try it uh, it's a little bit heavier but you can push it and uh, with that end it will still stand so let's finish the stock mm -hmm. I should have really make uh, two slip stitches and then finish it nicely as I show you on the cup but I kind of uh, was distracted I think you can finish it nicely or you can just make chain one it will be inside and uh, you see I didn't finish the stock nicely how I did with the cup but never mind so it's all options for you now using the dining needle you will attach the cup to the stock First you secure the yarn, stitches are quite large so if you pull it, it will come through so you make a loop, make uh, catch that loop so you've made a knot and now all those loose ends will go to the stock I didn't insert any stuffing, so I don't think it's necessary all these uh, loose ends will work as stuffing 
You can use pin needles to keep it in position. I'm just holding it. And you run through one stitch from the cup and a stitch from the stock. There you are. And going around, in and out, 